Hundreds of students packing the gymnasium of Rockland High yesterday to hear a presentation about the dangers of fentanyl. Now among the speakers, San Francisco Giants star pitcher Logan Webb, who shared a personal story of loss. Let's go to ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo. She spoke to him about the message he wants to send. So Bridget, what does he hope that students will take away from his visit? Well, Bria, Giants pitcher Logan Webb is still grieving the loss of his cousin Cade, who died suddenly last December at just 20 years old after taking a single counterfeit pill laced with fentanyl. This is a story that is told way too often nationwide. Just last year, the CDC reports 71,000 people died from fentanyl poisoning. Now, Webb hopes by sharing his family's heartache, it makes students take pause before they take a gamble on their life. It's really scary what's going on. Warnings of fentanyl poisoning are messages San Francisco pitcher Logan Webb wishes he heard a little sooner. So he could tell his cousin Cade to not take a chance on a counterfeit pill. His smile would light up the room. Um, just him smiling and laughing got the whole room to smile and laugh. And, and I miss that. Uh, I miss that a lot. Kay died last December, two days shy of Logan's wedding. And though he couldn't save Cade before he took a single pill laced with fentanyl, he hopes to keep others like him alive. By speaking before his old high school in Rockland, urging teens to say no to experimenting with dangerous drugs. I want kids to know that they, not even kids, I want everybody to know that, you know, one of those pills can can cause so much damage and it's not just to you, it's to your entire family and community. Hoping his family's tragedy can serve as a lesson for others to shield them from a similar pain. It's, it's just really sad to, to know that people are dealing with this all the time and, 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 and I know that the person and kid that Cade was and not for him to not be able to, to, to grow old and to, to have his be with his daughter or be with his girlfriend. It's really sad. Experts say it's becoming a crisis in our country. Law enforcement officials are now trying to crack down on the drug dealers who sell fentanyl, oftentimes to young people who are more vulnerable. The person who sold Cade, the pill that killed him, he faces three felony counts for murder and purchasing a narcotic for sale. He pleaded not guilty in court, and he's now being held in Placer County without bail. Bria Walsh. So sad. Yeah, such so an sad. unfortunate story, but it's still yeah. very timely and important as fentanyl and Narcan and things are being distributed in the schools. It's being targeted towards the youth. So it's really good that he was out there talking with the Rockland School District yesterday. Bridget, thank you.